<laughs> Gino so graciously brought in pies for Pie Day this morning. I did, yeah. Because you're a nerd. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, and also, I just like food. Yeah. Uh, but I'm really starting to feel the food coma right now. I know, I had two pieces. Oh, boy. Uh, hopefully, we get through this show, right? <laughs> uh, well, guess what? At least we'll be able to enjoy some punk comfortable weather. We got a quiet morning, no flurries, really no precipitation whatsoever. It's 22 degrees right now. Winds coming in out of the west and southwest at 5 miles per hour. So a little bit of a wind chill factor, but out towards the north, we got temperatures that are even colder than that wind chill. 11 in Mountain, 9 in Sister Bay, 10 in Anago. But then down to the south for Sheboygan, you're at 20 degrees. So about a 10 degree spread from the northern half down to the southern half. Part of the reason why we're kind of colder up towards the north, we have cool, very calm winds. There's a lot of goose eggs out there. But you see these winds down to the southwest from Berlin to Appleton, Wapaka, starting to see them come out of the southwest. And when we have a southwest wind flow, that typically means some milder air and it's coming in our way. But for the meantime, it's a little bit chilly. So you'll need the jacket as you head outside with wind chills between 10 to 20 degrees. It's very quiet weather. We're not going to be dealing with much, honestly, uh, not just today, but over perhaps the next six to seven days. It's a very dry forecast. But for today, a high pressure moving down to the south is going to bring us some mild air on the return flow. But you see this cold front up to the north? That's going to be moving in our way by late tonight into tomorrow. So say goodbye to those 40s. It's only going to be one and done today as we have temperatures back into the 30s tomorrow. So for the meantime, let's enjoy. Might as well. So mostly sunny skies move into the area and we see temperatures rise up into the mid and upper 40s later on this afternoon. But then comes a cold front, really not much precipitation with it. Maybe a few uh, flurries at most as temperatures cool back down into the 20s and even teens overnight tonight. And then for tomorrow, it looks like we'll only go into the lower to mid 30s. So at least sunshine will be pretty uh, prevalent over the next several days. 44 degrees, it's going to be about uh, 5 to 7 degrees above normal for this time of the year. Winds out of the west and southwest 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then they'll be changing out of the northwest tonight after that cold front moves through. Overnight lows in the lower 20s under partly cloudy skies might have a few flurries, but for tomorrow expecting more sunshine, just a little bit cooler with a high of 34. So after that, we have another cool day on Friday, a little bit warmer, high of 37, back into the 40s on Saturday and even also onto Sunday, but then Monday and Tuesday back in into the 30s. So it is a bit of a swing saw pattern where we're going up and down, up and down. And I guess, uh, I don't know if you're a big fan of roller coasters, but I mean, honestly, that's kind of the temperature outlook that we're seeing right now. I mean, I'm really not a fan of roller coasters, so well, uh, I was hoping to just see like 60s. Yeah. If it wasn't for the <laughs> temperatures, it would almost look like a, a San Diego forecast. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah. All right, still ahead, a new study.